Hey everybody, how are you? Today I'm gonna make a St. Patrick's design. It's going to be, um, what is a, uh, no, a, a leprechaun, right? But it can be also any other thing that you want. Just pay attention of this technique, but look at this. Look at this, it's, um, this is the first attempt and this is what I did. And I just have the idea because I was looking pictures that I made before other years on my Instagram. And I saw uh, that picture. So it made me think, why not to make it into a tutorial and change maybe some things that I think will be better now, this time. So the thing is to make the rainbow and the golden part and you know, the, the shamrock that may take too long. And the thing is, there's already many tutorials of that idea. I think you can do that. I think if you pay attention of my witch, uh, um, what is part of the witch? What is the, the name? Well, on Halloween I make a, it's the same idea that you can use it for the um, St. Patrick's pot call. If you want me to do it, just tell me in the comments so I will do it as a tutorial. But look at this. Uh, let's just start it. So this is a technique that you will use a, a heart. This is a Qualitex heart. And it's a cool thing because you can inflate it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I need to inflate it all the way. And then I lose the air. That way it's kind of soft and it's squishable. So you have this. It's kind of like losing the shape already of the heart, but it's there, you know, in that limit. And then you tie it very close to the nozzle. Okay? So that's what you're going to do. You tie it close to the nozzle like this. Now you're going to grab your 260 black, inflate it like, what is this, nine finger tail? Yep. Yeah. And you're going to make like the regular feet that you can do. It's like a loop, like a two or three finger loop. You don't want big, big feet, but, and then two finger feet twist. Okay, that's what we are doing right now and then you're gonna cut that part so you cut it don't get rid of your black to 60 yet this one you can lock them you can tie them um just make sure it's all secure there just leave it like this and you can you have to make one more okay so let's do and make the same it's like a two or three finger loop and then a two finger pinch twist and then you cut now this is the thing you can save this if you don't want to use an you know, a new 160 black. So this is a 260 black. You just save it, just like this. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make this when it's skinnier in a moment. So right now, I just wanna make sure this doesn't get untied. So I pass it through the loop, you know, the, the tip this, and then I tied it with the other part that is right here. I just, you know, I'm tying, just securing these things. Now you have the shoes. Look at what I'm gonna do now. This one here is gonna be the heart, supposed to be, right? The, so now we're gonna squish that part, you know, this part, you know, this, the nozzle and this, and you squish, and then you kind of like, look, do this and twist it. So you're gonna have there one little bubble. And that little bubble, you grab it with one of the pinch twists black and you twist it together, okay? That's what you're gonna have. I like kind of to keep the pinch twist black from the outside and the, the little green pinch twist and the inside. It's up to you that. We're gonna do the same here. So now when we're doing the same here, you will see the air is gonna start pushing, you know, to this part and that's okay. Now you will do the same. Okay, so you have this. Now you grab it with the other feet and twist it together. And there you go. So with this technique, you can make so many different types. This is a type of body. That's what it is. Look. So now you have shoes and the whole, you know, outfit for this leprechaun. Now what we're going to do, it's we're going we're gonna to grab a 260 green inflated, like six finger tail. And you're going to make two pinch twists. Okay, I like this. The thing is, um, oh my goodness. you just have to make two pinch twists. Then you can bend it if you want and give it more character to your design. If you bend this part like half, you know, whatever is coming here, half. So it's like two finger here, two finger the other side. And then you kind of like make a, okay, this is a, a change that I'm doing comparing to the first design. So I'm going to make only one pinch twist because only one that is going to be in the back. In the front, I want to have this space empty to attach like maybe some loops or bubbles with that. 160 orange so you will see that in a moment but leave that just only one pinch twist it's an experiment we're experimenting too 
you bend it this part just again two finger in each side approximately and then you're gonna make two more pinch twists and that's all now you can cut this and the thing again it's you can save this yeah because this is gonna be part of the hat okay you save this and you tie it there now you have arms we're gonna start connecting things so let's attach it here the arms to the body okay and you have something like this <laughs> it's like a zombie ah huh, this can be a really cute zombie why not right it can be anything so this is the type of body that i think is a cool one to have and you know in your mind okay now we're gonna grab um i forgot yeah. uh, we have we need uh, like a five inch round blush yeah unless you want your leprechaun to have other color skin that's fine it's up to you whatever you have in a five inch round is gonna be for the face so you inflate it again hold away just make sure it doesn't have any holes and you move the air something like this mm, what is this like a hunt okay and you can tie it close to the nozzle too because from here look now we have these leftovers from the arms and what we have to do here is like as tall as you want you know i'm gonna make it a little bit taller so let's make it with like four finger bubble another four finger bubble and then we're gonna go with a four finger bubble and then come back with another four finger bubble you will have enough if you don't have enough just leave it with three of these sausages it's gonna be okay if you don't have enough or if you prefer just like that it's okay but in my case i'm gonna add one more because i have a steel balloon and i think it looks cute you see balloons and that's what i like so flexible you can just change them now this thing i'm gonna just to pop it um i kind of looking for my pin but it's okay you tie them and the thing is you think like oh you know there's no more um balloon here and we we'll need to make an apple twist with this and that's gonna be tricky you just have to grab um you will have leftovers it's always good to have it doesn't matter the color look this is a 160 i just attach it here because i don't have more balloon but if you leave it with three sausages this green 260 you will have you know enough balloon to make this also the tip for the apple twist so you have here at least with three or two fingers gonna be good enough you can to now grab this part squish like this and i like this also way because in case you don't have quick links like i don't have quick links oh wait i'm talking and i don't do it i don't show it so this is the thing you have to push the balloon squish the balloon you put it there push and then with your other hand you find kind of the center and grab all there and then you twist but the thing if you don't have a quick link this is a good way also to make you know a head and connect it to a hat or even hair so check it this out um now you will need another kind of like it's balloon scraps i'm like i always tell you save your balloon scraps because you just need a little bit sometimes for this kind of details of touching the balloon and then connect it to the body. So now you connect it to the body. This can be also like a cute, you know what? It can be like a cute solder, you know, so green. Makes me think about a military guy. It's an idea. Now, here's the thing we will need a 160 and again we don't need all and if you don't have a 160 you can make it with a with a just the regular 260 glime green but this is just a little bit i'm using a, a new one only because i don't have right now left over but you just need a little bit it doesn't matter how much air look how much tail because you just need to go around here and tie it to the end just go around so you don't want this too tight but just like this look we make this already before for other designs, so that's it. You can make a pinch twist, double if you want, but you just can cut it and tie it. This is gonna be in the back, so people's not gonna really pay attention to that part. You can always cut the excess, and this is what I like to do. Look, I like to, okay, I'm gonna show you the front so you can see. I like to kind of like squish this like this and kind of bend in each side, each side bend it. It's gonna give it a little bit more this idea. But it's up to you, you know, it's not like, wow, the big difference, but there you go. So now, what else here we need? 
Um, we're gonna kind of like have also again, okay, this is another balloon. You want something better, it's more color, more balloon, it always makes things better. I think that, but that way, but I don't know you. So from here is that just a blush, doesn't matter how much air you inflate because it's gonna be for the hands and that's it. You don't want need more. So you just make like a three finger bubble and then a pinch twist. And you have to do this two times, leave it and tip there. And this is only the hands because I think it looks cute to show, you know, those little cute hands. And it's, this is a very easy, fastest way. It's just to make three finger bubble pinch twist. Cut. Save this because you can make lots of hands for leopard counts. You just attach it right here into that pinch twist. And let's see. Now you grab the other hand and attach it there. And the cool thing is that with this design, as you see in the picture I made before, it's you can be it can be holding a what is it, rainbow, a patco, a lot of things because you have here a connector, really cool. You know, all these pinch twists, this intersection you can have a lip, uh, what is a shamrock, why not? So let's see what we do at the end. So now we have this. Now remember I told you this is the leftover of the shoes, and it's 260, and it will look better. I make this one with a 160, but what can happen if you don't have a 160 black? You can always squeeze this black, stretch it, this black 260, and look, it's, it's looking skinnier, don't you think, than this part? So you can do that. And what you have to do is kind of pass it around and then close it here. Always try to keep it squishy, just pass it around. And I'm going to show you something I do here. So, again, you cut, you save this in your balloon scrap, but you're not going to use it anymore. So, you tie, you can always remember cut these scraps. This is the back. But you have to kind of like play with this part, how you like, because this one I like to put it inside. So, it's kind of like going to be inside in between. And I think that is going to give it a cool effect. So, that's how it's going to look the hat, you see? Because it's also very squishable. Now, what else from here? It's gonna be the hair and the beard. And this is a cool technique, and I don't think it's hard. So this is what I did. I grabbed a 160 orange, inflated like six or seven finger tail, and I make one pinch twist, okay? One pinch twist, then you're going to measure like approximately three finger bubble, and then another three finger bubble. So you have two bubbles of three finger each, and then you're gonna make another pinch twist one finger bubble pinch twist when you have this you can uh, now grab your balloon you're gonna show you this way and look this is kind of the front of, you have the idea that this is the front let's see i'm gonna just flip things so you can see this is the front <laughs> so you have this in this is the front and we're gonna go around and lock them to that pinch twist the first pinch twist that we did with the orange now from here you have something like this. That's gonna be the hair. Now we're gonna make the beard. And for the beard, I remember I made like five finger bubble, five bubbles of one finger each, five of those. One, two, three, four, and five. And I'm gonna touch it right here into, you know, the neck, the connection here with the green pinch twist. Okay, now from here, I want this also to help to make a beard. So from here, I can make maybe just one loop, one loop, like as long as you want the beard to be, Okay, when you get there, this is just an experiment, but I think it's gonna look cute. You can make like a three finger loop and make sure things are locked and twisted very well there. And you have that. The good thing is with that and the pinch twist in the back, the green, it's gonna be, oh, looking awesome. I love it. Look at this. <laughs> That's the beard. You can make it long if you want, but we have to make sure we have an open loop to have and make five finger uh, five bubbles of one finger each with this, the rest, and connect it to this pinch twist. So let's do that. I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna do that. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is awesome because look, I have enough balloon to make the beer just this way. Look at this, and you have all this left over. You can make this beer that's made longer if you want. Or you can just grab the end of all this and just pass it so you can make another line of hair. And you can just squish this as long and make it stretch it so it's gonna be long enough to reach the other pinch twist. 
So then just here at the end, I just make one little bubble and attach it to this pinch twist. Now, you know what? It's funny because I was kind of like, okay, I'm going to show this design, but now I'm super, super happy with this design. I have one hair of me right here, and this guy is supposed to be red hair <laughs> or orange hair. Oh, this is an awesome technique. I love it. And now I'm now super happy with this design. <laughs> yeah, you see, because it was all in theory. I was thinking, hmm, how to make this design better? And look at this. Oh, yeah much better beautiful now it's done what is next sharpie time look at this sharpie time so let's do the sharpie time how to do the sharpie time well it's very easy and simple look what i did there okay so i start with black i want to you know it's good sometimes to keep things simple if you take too long maybe for a picture for your design on instagram but then when you go in and starting people to book events and you know that means you have to be fast so let's make it simple I just make these two circles here and then I make the nose just like this. Look how simple. And then my smiley face just like this. Simple, easy. Now, orange part is going to be just eyebrows. So very thick eyebrows. I like that idea. What about you? And then here the mustache. You decide, but I make something like from here and then pew. Pew, kind of follow the... And then you make it thicker. That's the idea. Make it thicker. That means pass it and make it more shape. I'm going to show you how it looks at the end. But, you know, the thing is all about, you know, trying to do and create your own thing. Um, it's always a good idea. And then here, if you want, you can follow more beard. And this is up to you. But why not? If you already do this, like I just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. I love it. Now, Sharpie White. If you have... Oh, one moment, baby. Yes, I'm on my way. I'm a, uh, not really. I'm just doing this tutorial very quick because I tried a new design. Uh, look, just the lines that we did in the last video. I love it. This is so cute and easy. And uh, now I recommend it. If you have a question, which uh, white Sharpie you should get? Water base. Forget about the oil base. It's, for me, horrible. It's dry and it's... Then we start taking out the color from the other Sharpie that you put before, like in this case, a black. So, Okay, I don't have pink Sharpie and this is about my Barbie. If you have pink Sharpie, please color it. Make some eye juice, like the cheeks there are so cute. But that's all. Now, one more thing that I was thinking, why not? It's like a belt idea and this kind of a line that represents pants. But it's up to you. What do you think? Tell me in the comments if you think it's a good idea or you can just leave it there and it's so cute still. Okay, let's, I'm gonna do the things I did before just only because you can see it's a line there and then my line here, basic, basic. You don't have time to go all around, no? Just keep it like this uh, and then make here that idea. And then if you have this water-based yellow Sharpie, awesome because it's gonna make things look better this way. And I like kind of in the center, I just attach it a heart. Why? Because, because, just because, look at that. Get that. So cool, right? Well, tell me in the comments, what do you think about this design? Something that came out and I just wanted to share it with you because it's good to have also this channel. It's amazing, the playlist. So now a lot of people is looking for St. Patrick's design. I have a playlist that you can see there's different designs and there is one that is became very popular and I like it. That's, it's really cute. I'm looking for a green 116 because it's not only one balloon design and it can you know decorate any other designs you can make so look you just inflate your 160 green this time dark green so it cannot be a contrast with you know the lime green here so it's like a nine finger tail but this is what i do to make it fast because some people think oh that is a one balloon but it, it's too many twisting and it would take too long and blah 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 i'm just making sure i don't get my right, sharp is dry Oh, what is the lid? I know. I'm sorry. I want to always do. Make sure this way, because if we get dry, it's a problem. But, okay. Look, this is what you have to do. You have this balloon, again, a uh, nine finger towel. And this is what I do to make this faster. It's just, um, you just squish the balloon. It's super soft and squishable. Stretch. And you make like a, a loop, like five finger loop. Twist it. Very soft and squishable five finger loop. Very soft, soft and squishable five finger loop. And then, look. You just grab and squish this, and look, you don't have to twist in the center if you don't want. But look, I make like a two finger bubble here, 
and I twist that two finger bubble. What I'm twisting also, I'm squishing it into the other side. You see? And that way, it's, I think it's a faster version. You can do this in all the sides, two finger bubble, squish and pull and make another two finger bubble. And that way, you don't have to even squish this in half. That's what I mean, the loop. And again, two finger bubble and squish this and you pass in your squishing and loop, you create that effect already. So I'm going to mention two finger bubbles. And that's all folks. Oh, well, no. And then you have to make like a two finger bubble or a one finger bubble pinch twist here in the center and in the other side too. So when I say pinch twist, I have to show you. But if you're thinking, Cecilia, what are you doing? I make it a little, this um, shampoo that I already made before. And you can find in my St. Patrick designs and my playlist on YouTube. More, you know, explain it. But this is how you kind of have. And it's a very fast way. And the thing is, look, this, and imagine with a chamber, holding a chamber, let's do that. How? Just like this, just grab it, squish this part, the 160, just squish and twist, you know? And you can not have to make so much twist in there. You know, you have to feel your balloon. You have to feel it. And look, you just accommodate it, and there it goes. Ah, oh, I hope you like this design. Now I love it, I love it. It's a very cute one. If you make it, don't forget, share it with me on my Instagram. You can tag me. I would love to see if you will be able to learn it. But look, you see how we change? Instead of the green pinch twist, we just decide to, instead to make two pinch twist green, we just make only one pinch twist green. And then we have this space for our 160 orange. And I think it's much better. To decide which one do you prefer? Well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. And don't forget, if you want to make this YouTube channel better, much better, because it's already awesome, but how? It's always nice if you can collaborate because uh, the thing is I'm running out of balloons and, and it's not a really good um, time that it's not like we've been having many events. No, no. And that's kind of the sad part. But I'm trying to also use the balloons I have with me. But if you send balloons, like you think, Cecilia, what can you do with these balloons? I would love to, you know, just send it to me. All my address is in all the, the videos. If you check out the description, description blah, 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 this, that's boring, it's too hard. <laughs> if you check out the description of all my videos, you will see there my address. You can send me anything you want that you will think, Cecilia, what can you do with these things with, in the balloon world? And I would love to, you know, start thinking and thinking and creating things here in the balloon room. Well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and see you next time. Ciao, ciao.